celebrity feuds that change the direction of popular movies. Often, when making a movie, people hope for everyone to get along for the sake of a nice working environment. But sometimes co-workers just don't get along. Celebrity egos get in the way, or people have different visions and so they butt heads. Once things get to a boiling point, t it has some surprising outcomes. Some actors end up storming off set, others get fired and recast, or storylines are changed in order to explain why someone is no longer around. So when has this happened? Here are 15 celebrity feuds that change the direction of popular movies. Producers Back to the Future Part 2. The actor played young George McFly in Back to the Future. But he couldn't see eye to eye with the producers of how to move forward with the franchise in the sequel. I was asking questions that the producers, director didn't like, Crispin Glover said on the Opie and Anthony show. There was a different end and I had questions about it, and it did get changed. So Glover was replaced by Jeffrey Weissman for the movie. To add insult to injury, they tried to make Weissman look like Glover. They had taken the molds of my face from the old age makeup from the original movie, said Glover, and put another actor into prosthetics that were made from my face, and interspersed with a very small amount of footage of me from the original movie in order to fool audiences into thinking I was in the movie. The actor sued Universal Pictures for using his likeness, and they ended up settling according to The Hollywood Reporter. The amount that was given to Glover was reported to be $760,000. Lucy Liu Charlie's Angels, Full Throttle. The comedian played Bosley in the 2000 remake of Charlie's Angles. But he didn't get along with Lucy Liu and reportedly told her she couldn't act. In order to have a nicer set, Murray was cut from the sequel and replaced by Bernie Mac. James Riddy Rhodes in Iron Man, but was replaced by Don Cheadle for the sequel and other Marvel movies. When asked why this was, Terence Howard blamed Robert Downey Jr. It turns out that the person I helped become Iron Man and when it was time to re-up for the second one, he, took the money that was supposed to go to me and pushed me out, he said on Watch What Happens Live. Bruce Willis The Expendables 3. Often egos between two big movie stars can lead to a disaster. That's what happened when Sylvester Stallone and Bruce Willis teamed up for The Expendables. They had a public dispute over money, and Stallone tweeted, greedy and lazy and a sure formula for career failure in reference to Willis. Willis was then written out of The Expendables 3 and replaced by Harrison Ford. But a year later, they managed to make up and Stallone tweeted, made up with Bruce W. A stand-up guy, my mistake and. Joel Schumacher Batman and Robin. The director and actor had a really rough time working together on the comic book adaptation. Joel Schumacher called Val Kilmer childish and impossible, so it was unsurprising that he wasn't hired again to do the next Batman movie. Ridley Scott Blade Runner
the director and actor had two very different visions for the sci-fi movie. Ridley Scott wanted Rick Descartes to be non-human while Harrison Ford wanted the opposite. When the director began adding clues hinting at this, Ford replied, God damn it, I thought we said I wasn't a replicant, according to Vanity Fair. After test audiences watched the movie and became confused, the replicant aspect of Descard was taken out. So basically, Ford won that battle. Michael Bay Transformers, Dark of the Moon. Shia LaBeouf and Rosie Huntington Whiteley in Transformers, Dark of the Moon, Debo Naventura Pictures. The actress worked with the director for many years before things blew up publicly. Megan Fox claimed Michael Bay wants to be like Hitler on his sets, and he is. So he's a nightmare to work for. She was fired for making these comments, and Rosie Huntington Whiteley was cast as the new female lead in Transformers, Dark of the Moon. The two later made up and worked together again on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles franchise. Val Kilmer vs. Dot Richard Stanley The Island of Dr. Moreau. Once again Val Kilmer makes the list because of his feud with a director. He didn't get along with Richard Stanley while working on The Island of Dr. Moreau, but this time in a way Kilmer won given Stanley was fired and replaced by John Frankenheimer. Stanley explained to Vice why they chose him. They fired me and hired Frankenheimer because he had a reputation for dealing with difficult actors and they thought he could wrangle Marlon Brando and Val Kilmer, he said. Dwayne Johnson The Fate of the Furious. The two action stars made headlines for not getting along while filming The Fate of the Furious. It was later noticed that Van Diesel and Wayne Johnson never really share a scene in the movie, probably due to their fighting. The two are still going forward working on the franchise together, so it should be interesting how it all plays out. Sylvester Stallone The Lords of Flatbush. The actors worked together in the 1974 movie, but they didn't like each other so much so that it got physical. Sylvester Stallone reportedly pushed Richard Gere out of a car on set and gave the director an ultimatum, him or Gere. The director chose Stallone and recast the role of Chico with Barry King. The lead star wasn't making friends on the set of Blade, Trinity because of his diva behavior, according to Patton Oswalt. A lot of the lines that Ryan Reynolds has were just a result of Wesley, Snipes, not being there, he told AV Club. We would all just think of things for him to say and then cut to Wesley's face not doing anything because that's all we could get from him. Paul Newman The Towering Inferno. It's not unheard of for actors to feud over screen time. Steve McQueen actually respected Paul Numa, and but refused to have fewer lines than him and demanded his role be expanded for The Towering Inferno. Sean Young vs. Warren Beatty Dick Tracy. The role of Tess Trueheart was played by Glenn Headley, but Sean Young was originally cast in the role. However, she didn't get along with Warren Beatty. She claimed she was fired after declining Beatty's advances. He has since publicly denied this claim. Norman Mailer directed the movie and was given a writing credit, despite reports that the movie didn't really have a script. 
filming was reportedly frustrating for everyone. So when it was the time to shoot a fight scene between Mailer and Rip Torn, things got real. They had a brawl that resulted in Torn biting Mailer's ear and the whole thing makes it into the movie. Meryl Streep vs. Dustin Hoffman Kramer vs. Kramer The two actors didn't get along, and that was partly due to Dustin Hoffman putting his hand on Meryl Streep's breast the first time they met. Streep later claimed he apologized for doing this. He also slabbed her while filming, which made it into the movie. Years later, when asked about the incident, Streep said, it was overstepping. Despite the issues with Hoffman, Streep did feel comfortable enough to speak up when she thought her character's motivations were unclear and asked to have her character rewritten. The script was changed, and she later won an Oscar.